Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from UnleashTheFones.com and here's a quick guide on how to get the Google back into your Nokia X. First things first, you have to root your Nokia X and I have made a separate video on how to do that. Basically, you install the Famaroot app and then use the Gandalf uh, exploit to root it. Restart your phone and it should be rooted. After that, you have to download a Root Explorer app. Now, I've used Root Explorer, which is a really good app, but it's a paid-for app. It does the job really well, though, so this is the app I'm going to use right now. Next, you have to download a zip file called Nokia XG Apps. I'll put the link to that in the little description below. And extract all of those contents, uh, and which you, you will get a whole bunch of APK files when you extract all of those contents. Um, let me show that to you there. So you have a whole bunch of Google APKs. Uh, you have to copy each of these APK files and put it into your system slash app folder. Okay, now that I've selected all of them, just cut and then go to your systems folder. Go to the app and then move all these files here. Now, you will see uh, you have been granted super user permission because the phone is rooted. When it says, do you want to remount it as a read-write drive, say yes. And it'll move the selected files to that folder. Now, after those files are copied, this is the slightly tedious process. You have to go to each file that you've copied and change the permission for them. Uh, for example, here in com google.android you change the permission um, over to this setting select ok and then move on to select the rest of the apps that you have moved over and once you've finished modifying the uh, permissions for each of these apk files uh, you exit the app and just basically restart your Nokia X and once your phone finishes restarting you should hopefully see um, all the Google Apps listed right there. Now if you don't see them listed you can just go back to the first place where you um, extracted all those files and install them uh, one by one. Now you'll see that the Play Store and Hangouts all open up just fine. Uh, you will have to log in of course but they'll load up just fine showing you all the list of apps and things like that. My Wi-Fi is a little bit slow right now so it is taking a little while to load um, but it does work just fine so once the Play Store loads up you can basically install any file from here. It will also start automatically updating the apps you have on your phone which is kind of cool just like a normal Android phone. Just to show you how um, it works you can download any app from the Play Store now on your Nokia X. Um, for example, I'm looking for Chrome because I do like Chrome as a browser better than the <laughs> built-in browser. So you open that up, hit install, and it should hopefully install just fine. And there you go, it is downloading the app and will install it. And once any app you download from the Google Play Store is installed, you can run it just fine. For example, here is Chrome running just fine on the Nokia X. So there you go guys, it's just a quick guide on how to bring the Google back to your Nokia X. Um, of course, some things might not work as well as they would with other Android phones because they're not technically meant to run on this phone. Now, this is how you bring all the Google apps back but you probably want to install the Google Launcher as well, the KitKat Launcher, or the uh, Google Now Launcher that was released for Android phones, uh, for Nexus and Google Play Edition Android phones. Now that's also very possible. Um, all you have to do is download uh, the file that is again in the description below from XDA. Uh, once you download the Android KitKat Launcher file, it has, it has three files that you have to install. First, you have to install velvet.apk um, install it like you would any basic APK file and now that you've done installing that uh, you won't actually see the launcher until you restart your phone um, so even if you press the back button now you will not actually see that launcher so what you have to do is 
restart your Nokia X once again. All right, now once your phone is restarted, you should see um, a whole bunch of Google Apps at the bottom, bottom right there. To get the launcher working, you just press and hold the back key and you will see this little prompt that says complete action using Google Now Launcher. Um, select always or just once, whatever you want to try it on. And there you go, there's the uh, very cool Google Now Launcher working just fine on the Nokia X. Um, as you can see, it does work very cool. Unfortunately, that being said though, uh, all of your notifications <laughs> will still be through the uh, fast lane. So if you, if you swipe down, you'll see the same notification panel. And if you want to check out fast lane, um, you kind of have to either tap on a notification to get there or switch back to the normal launcher um, and check out your fast. As you can see, it, it works kind of well enough. Um, it's a little bit laggy, of course, but it does look a little bit more neater maybe than the uh, Nokia X's launcher. The cool thing about this is that you can also say, OK, Google to trigger the automatic Google search thing and it works just fine. All right guys, so that's a quick video on how to bring the Google back to your Nokia X. As always, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below or check out our post over at unleashthephones.com.